So coach, um, third uh, spring practice in the books. Uh, are you where you want to be right now, just relatively early in the process? No, I think it is early in. And, uh, you know, I think as, as we go uh, each day, we build a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm pleased with our energy and our effort. And, uh, you know, our execution cuts off today, but that was good. It was the first day with the shoulder pads. And uh, you know, I think it makes a difference, you know, that the, the, the physical part, the physicality of football as we continue to go on uh, Saturday with full pads. Uh, you know, I think it's getting the adjustment to wearing pads again. It's been a while. Do you feel like you really, the true variation really starts when the pads come on? Well, no, I think, it, you know, I just think it continues to build mm -hmm. uh, with things because now you're really having to get to the right spots and, and, and play blocks and so forth on defense and uh, being able to get in the right levers and so forth in coverage. I know much has been said about um, moving, moving to uh, a uh, four-man front. How does that affect the personnel on all levels? I mean, do you think that's really kind of much to do about nothing and you really have all the tools in place? To yeah, play I think it is. I think there's 11 guys and people have played two-man fronts, five-man fronts, you know, four-man fronts, whatever. It, uh, uh, you know, we'll have variations, things. But, but right now we're just trying to build, uh, I think, maybe more the structure of coverage and so forth more than it is that uh, affects the front as much. But it's good for the linebackers to play downhill. I like that part of it. Uh, today was a good opportunity to start doing that and be able to correct it uh, as we go forward the rest of the week. With uh, Chris Hawkins being a younger position coach, how has that been just kind of relating to his room and, and the guys in there? Yeah, I think Chris is, you know, he, he, don't let his age fool you. He's got uh, loads of experience and uh, uh, he's very organized and, and he does a nice job. He kind of uh, is able to, to see uh, the secondary play through the eyes of the players and be able to, to teach them uh, body position, mechanics of playing back there in the secondary at both corner and safety. So uh, it's, he's, uh, you know, uh, he's really going to uh, continue to pull the best out of those guys and uh, uh, he's able to help uh, them see, what, see what's ahead and uh, the opportunity to continue to own their craft and get better. And how have uh, you and Herm just been able to kind of help him, uh, especially just along this process as well? Well, just trying to keep, uh, you know, uh, he has his ideas, and that's what I've told him. Uh, you need to be forceful with things, and you have your plan, and, and we'll, we'll coach off you. How did the returning players adjust to the game? Oh, I think they're, they seem to be doing fine. Um, the secondary obviously is loaded with experience. Uh, it, does it really look that way on the practice field? Well, I do. I think we've got some guys who are uh, kind of with the second group now. That are, you know, and then they started a lot of games last year, particularly at the safety spot. And uh, so that you get some depth there, and uh, you know we've got some young guys coming on and playing. Jordan Clark, who registered last year, who uh, really has done a nice job, and we've got to get uh, uh, Key One and Key on. Uh, geared up and play as the other freshman, you know, Willie uh, Hartz, who played a lot last year. So, and then you mentioned the experience of, of the other players. So, um, you know, we've got to feel good about things and uh, keep competing and getting better. As far as just uh, incorporating all the new coaches to be on the same page with Chris Hawkins and Robert Rodriguez, it seems like a pretty seamless uh, transition from the outside looking in. Well, we have, we've, uh, you know, we've had to spend a lot of time together since we, you know, the addition of Robert mm -hmm. and uh, get together and. Uh, you know, kind of, uh, uh, I spent you know, spend a lot of time talking through things and, uh, and how we see it and making sure we're all on the same page uh, throughout because of, you know, uh, Robert came out of a similar system mm -hmm. and they changed words and so forth. He's comfortable with certain words. We wanted to make sure we kind of retained some of the things, the verbiage that we had here mm -hmm. and, uh, and kind of incorporated all that way. And AP uh, has been able to help. Uh, Robert and the guy and Chris with that, you know, Chris came out of a similar system as I said, so uh, a lot of it, so it's made it a little easier to fit together. Would it be fair to say that you and Mike Zimmer had some long uh, discussions before Robert was considered as a candidate? Well, about long, we had a few long discussions. <laughs> Having been in the uh, special advisor role last year and now the co-defensive coordinator, how has it been just being more interactive with the players? Well, it's been uh, fun to, to, to have an opportunity to uh, uh, really uh, help these guys develop as players and help us build a, you know, the goal is to build a great defense. And it's really not about me, but about the opportunity for these kids and us uh, to point them in the right direction and get them to play hard. I'm just beginning, but could you just give me an evaluation of how these first few days have gone?
Yeah, I think it's uh, you know it's been uh, good for our guys because we're getting a lot of things uh, thrown at them offensively, a lot of movement, a lot of change, and uh, and that's good to play defense. We're not having to we're not getting to play stagnant defense. There's been a lot of moving parts on the other side of the football, so we've got to really been able to train our eyes and do a nice job uh, coaching and re and and reteaching things and uh, you know critiquing what we're doing all the way through and them. And so, uh, you know, it's been it's been great uh, so far to, to for them to you know we don't know what's coming the next play, and so that that part's been good. And this transition from the three three five to what you want to run, how do you feel like that's going to result? Well, I, I don't think it's a, as big a thing. Uh, you you it's just a lot of you got a lot of words. Uh, you know, uh, we're still going to play. You got to have play gap control football and so forth. And those are the same thing that was taught here before. And it's just a matter of structure and players and, and who's where. But the main thing is we want to have a system that, that our guys can play fast and play downhill. And that was the goal of, uh, of Danny and, and Tony White because they were here.